Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a BLT pasta salad. Um, this is a really good, like, um, lower calorie, lower fat uh, recipe if, you want, if you're interested in that. So here's what you need. You need um, eight ounces of uncooked pasta, or just eight ounce box of pasta. Uh, you can weigh it out or whatever you want. Um, you need a can. This is the um, one pound, 12 ounce can, or 28 ounce can of the whole peeled tomatoes. You need, um, let's see if I can pick this up. You need the center cut, um, we bought the Meyer center cut bacon, but the biggest deal is this is the 25% lower fat. So it's a lower fat alternative bacon. You need um, three cups of this thinly sliced lettuce and it's, it, they're coming uh, one and a half cup pack, uh, bags. So you buy two of those, you get three cups of the thin sliced lettuce. You need a half a cup of light mayo a half cup of fat-free sour cream, and we buy the light sour cream because it actually is uh, lower calories than the fat-free. You need one tablespoon of the stone ground mustard, and it's not dried like a seasoning. This is actually in the mustard aisle, and it's got, you can see it's got like seeds, mustard seeds and stuff in there. It's really, really good. And then you need two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. This is just the Kroger brand apple cider vinegar. You need two teaspoons of that. And then this is just a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my pasta boiled and cooked. I'm going to fry my bacon in a, in a pan and let it drain, and I'll be back. I forgot to mention, you really only need four slices of bacon. Um, I'm probably going to fry it all up. That way I can just cook it all at one time and then just reserve the other slices. But you only need four for this recipe. All right, we got everything cooked. And uh, the pasta, what I did with it is I stuck it in a colander and drained it off. And then I sprayed it down with cold water because you don't want it hot. You want it to be cool. So it's drained and cooled off. And my bacon is over here. Here's the four slices. There's some half slices and full slices. I'm just going to go ahead and just crumble this. It doesn't have to be tiny pieces. You can just see, I just kind of rip it. You really want to just get bacon in there. And, it's, and you believe it or not, you can taste this bacon all through the salad when you're done. And I kind of make my bacon a little crispy just so it's easier to crumble. If you get it kind of fatty, it's it doesn't, you really have to pull it apart then, you don't crumble it. So I'm now going to, I'm going to dump my uh, shredded lettuce in here and just pile it up in there. All right, now I'm going to deal with my tomatoes and my tomatoes, make sure I don't need plastic in there, get that out of the way. Um, my tomatoes, all I did was when I rinsed my macaroni off, um, I just strain these in the same colander that I, that I did those in. So what you want to do is you're going to chop, roughly chop these, but you want to take the seeds out. So that's just, uh, that one didn't, that didn't have any seeds, so I'm just going to pitch that one in there. So when you cut these, yeah, see they're full of seeds and full of liquid. So just get you a, pa I have a paper towel over here. I'm literally just going to dump these out and just take your fingers and kind of wipe out the seeds. And I'll have to clean up, but that's just to keep it from running all over my counter. Okay, I've cleaned my mess up because it does make a heck of a mess but there's all the tomatoes so now you're going to take basically that's the first four ingredients the the uh, pasta the lettuce the bacon and the tomatoes you're going to take the rest of it and put it in a bowl just so you can mix it up really good so i've got my mayo and my sour cream and then my mustard and my apple cider vinegar and then I'm going to mix it up really good first, and then I'll put my salt and pepper and sugar in there. Now I'm going to 
This is the fun part. Make sure you're using a big bowl because I don't even know if this bowl is going to be big enough. That's mm. the biggest bowl we have. I think we got the orange bowls bigger. Oh, okay. I'm going to switch over to a, an orange Halloween bowl. Yeah, it's bigger because you could sit that inside that. Okay, yeah, you can see it's a lot bigger yeah. bowl. So I'm just going to dump this in here. I don't know why we didn't think about it ahead of time because I've always used this orange bowl when I make this and I don't know, try to be trying to be nice for the video to do it in a nice clear bowl, but this orange bowl is literally it says, it says trick, trick or treat, or treat <laughs> on the side. It has little pump jack o' lanterns and ghosts. Go ahead. Sophie. We've had it for years. Yeah, That's what I was gonna say. We've had that bowl. Yeah, for we ages. bought it to put candy in and we we use it for everything. We actually use it uh, for everything in the kitchen because it's huge yeah. and it's uh it it was like three bucks or something. I mean, it's so, never stained or anything. I mean, no, it's been, really it's been a good bowl. So so if you see these at Walmart around Halloween time. Yeah, you should get them. They will last. We've never microwaved it or anything though, so we really haven't abused it. No, but it's a good popcorn bowl too. And it, yeah. Okay, so now we just really just want to work that in and stir it all up. Now let me talk a little bit about the calories. Um, I'm not going to tell you individual calories while I'm stirring it, but, but uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. It depends. Really, it ultimately depends on what ingredients you put into it is how many calories and fat it has. I just took what we had, the, the brands we had and everything, and added the calories up. And ours is 1,615 if you eat this whole bowl. I mean, that's a lot of food. And if you're dieting, you're not going to eat uh, but a very small portion there's of this There's dishes anyway. at the Cheesecake Factory that have that many calories in them. <laughs> um, there's one piece of cheesecake that probably has that many yeah. calories in it. That Alfredo or something. I'm pretty sure that Arby sandwich I tried, that, <laughs> that stacked meat stack or whatever, yeah. there was that many calories on that. For the, can you imagine eating this whole bowl? That'd be sick. So what we do is we, um, like I said, just make sure you get everything mixed up pretty good. It looks pretty good to me. And I have... We bought these a long time ago too. They're the uh, um, two cup like bowls, like like storage bowls. The Rubbermaid brand, I think. Um, and they these. are stained because we have put them in the microwave. Yeah, and but these have, yeah, the Rubbermaid. These have a screw on lid that screws on. So we really like these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this up into five, should make about five portions. These are two cup containers. I don't usually fill it completely up. I usually get like three-fourths of the way full but i only have four of these so what i'll do is i'll yeah right about that's pretty close to the top i'll take this one and dump in my bowl that i don't have the measuring for and then i'll fill this one back up and we might actually end up getting six out of this we'll see but then you can just take that that total calorie amount and divide it up by how many servings how many bowls you get and you know how many calories you're eating so and if you do it in a, in a cup that's already pre-measured, like these are the same size, you know they're all the same. Right, we actually ended up getting seven. Um, and I actually probably have even more. Well, I don't have enough to fill up a whole one, but I got enough to take a bite of it. <laughs> Um, so if you take the seven, uh, this 1,615 divided by seven servings, it ends up being 230 calories per bowl. So that is not bad at all. And what we would always do is we would take this, it actually is uh, almost exactly seven. Um, we would take this and eat one of these and a bowl of a little container about this size of Jello uh, with some Cool Whip on top of, which was what, 40 or 50 calories, wasn't much at all. So we had less than 300 calories probably for a meal. So that was really good. So um, let me see. Uh, let me get a fork. Get in my drawer of silverware. Let me take a bite of it. Here's what it looks like close up if you want. And I want to make sure I get a good bite of bacon and tomato and everything. And you store this in the refrigerator. Yeah, put it in the refrigerator. And it keeps for 
um, a little while, probably about a week, but you want to eat it pretty regularly because it gets watery if you, if you let it sit. Yeah, the lettuce will start to wilt, and it's okay to have it a little wilty. That's normal, but mm. I, I would eat mm. it every day until it's gone. Eat a serving a day, um, and I will have the recipe for this on my blog. It's TammyDunn.net, so if, you're, if you want the written recipe, you can go there, and you can just uh, copy and paste it into your own Word document from there. That's excellent. You get... You get the tomato, um, you get the bacon flavor in there. There's enough bacon there where you taste it all through there. The pasta is a really good filler, so it'll make you feel full. And what's really good is that mustard. The mustard has a really strong mustardy flavor, but it also has a little bit of a tartness to it. And you've got the vinegar in there that adds that vinegary flavor. It is absolutely perfect. So it's really, really good. You can change out some things if you want more. Um, if you want more bacon, you can add more bacon to it. Just add your calories to it when you do it. Um, it's just going to be more calories, but you could add another strip or two of bacon. It wasn't that much. The bacon, let me just tell you, um, it was basically 25 calories per slice. So if you wanted to add another uh, couple slices of bacon, then you're going to divide that 25 by seven containers. So it's really hardly anything adding another strip or two of bacon. So if you want to do that, go for it. If you want to add a little bit more tomato, go for it. We had never used the canned tomatoes actually like them they're really really good they're, they're just as good as the fresh tomatoes you would make on your own so hope you enjoy this video